your computer. First, open your favorite browser and simply type Visual Studio Code Download in the search bar. Hit Enter, and you'll see a link to download Visual Studio Code. Click on that link, which will take you directly to the official Visual Studio Code website. Here, you'll see that Visual Studio Code is for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Choose the version that matches your operating system. Since I'm using Windows, I'll click on the Windows option. Once you click, it will start the download process, and you'll see a message saying, Thank you for downloading VS Code. The download should begin automatically. If your download doesn't start automatically, don't worry. You can simply click on the direct download link in here to start the download manually. Let's wait a moment while Visual Studio Code finishes downloading. And there we go. Visual Studio Code has successfully downloaded. Now you can close your browser. First, click on the .exe file to start the installation process for Visual Studio Code on your system. Once the installer opens, the first screen you'll encounter is the license agreement. You can take a moment to read through it, then select I accept the agreement and click Next. The installer will then ask you to confirm the installation location for Visual Studio Code. By default, it will suggest a location, but if you prefer to install it elsewhere, you can click the Browse button and choose your desired location. Once you've made your selection, click Next. The installer will then suggest creating a Visual Studio Code folder. If you're OK with the default, just click Next. Or you can select a different location if you prefer. On the next screen, you'll have the option to create a desktop shortcut, which I recommend selecting. Additionally, I highly suggest you enable the options for Add Open with Code Action to the Windows Explorer Directory Context menu. Once you've selected these options, click Next to proceed. The installer is now ready to install Visual Studio Code, so click Install. The installation process will begin, and it should only take a couple of minutes. After the installation is complete, you'll see a screen indicating that Visual Studio Code has been successfully installed. Make sure the Launch Visual Studio Code option is checked, then click Finish. Now that you have Visual Studio Code installed, the next step is to install Python if you haven't done so already. Python is necessary for running Python scripts in VS Code. So let's begin to install the latest version of Python. First, simply go to your favorite browser, and in these arch bar, you need to just simply search with Python download and hit enter, and you'll be getting this www.python.org as our first results. Well, you need to just simply click on download Python, and it's going to redirect you to the official site of Python. And here you can see that we have Python 3.25 is available to downloads. So just simply click on download button and it will going to start downloading. In some cases, you might be redirected to a different page. If that happens, just scroll down and you'll find the download files. Depending on your operating system, like Windows, you can select the appropriate installer. Even though this didn't happen to me, it's good to be aware of this possibility. Once the download is finished, you can close the browser. Let's begin the installation process. So just simply double click on the installer, and here, make sure to check the box that says add python.exe to path. Then just simply click on custom installation. So these are all files that are going to be installed totally fine. Just simply click on next, and here you need to check install python 3.112 for all users. The installer is asking you to confirm the installation location. By default, it will suggest a location, but if you prefer to install it elsewhere, you can click the Browse button and choose your desired location. Once you've made your selection, click Install, Daunt, and it will ask for administrative privileges. Just simply click on Yes, and there you go, our installation has rightly begun. Let's wait for the installation to complete. You can clearly see that our setup was successful, but you can just simply close it. Now go to search, and here, just simply search with command for our command prompt and click on document prompt. Here, just simply type python space dash dash version and hit enter. You can see that our latest version of Python is rightly installed. So if we simply type python and hit enter, you can see our trademark triple arrow. So if we just simply print hello, and hit enter, you can see that our output hello rightly came. 
Now that the installation is complete, you're all set to start using Python. Open VS Code and click on the extensions icon on the left sidebar or press Ctrl Shift X. In the search bar, type Python. You can see the extension provided by Microsoft. Simply click on it and install. This extension enhances your Python development experience with advanced features like IntelliSense for code completion, linting for error detection, and powerful debugging tools. You can see the extension installed successfully. Now, let's create a new Python file. To start a new Python file in Visual Studio Code, first go to the top menu and click on File. From the drop-down menu, select New File. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Control alt windows n Save the file with a .py extension. For example, I am saving this file as aa.py. This tells VS Code that it's a Python file. Now let's write some Python code. In your new Python file, type in a simple print statement. Print hello. To run your Python code, I'll simply click on this run button in here because it's the easiest method to do it. Your output will appear in the terminal at the bottom of the screen and you should see hello printed there. If you encounter any issues, Make sure Python is installed correctly and added to your path. Also, ensure that the Python extension in VS Code is installed and enabled. If you're still having trouble, check out the official documentation for more help, or leave a comment below and I'll do my best to assist you. And there you have it. You've successfully set up Python in Visual Studio Code and run your first Python program. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Also, hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.